I had a chance to go fishing in Alaska with Mike and with Dave, along with our guide Nick, we fished on the Kachatna region rivers of Alaska. And so here you see Alaska. We flew into Anchorage by commercial airplane and then we took a little bush plane from the Lake Hood Airport, traveling over some rivers and plains about 90 miles to the Lake Marie Lodge, which is in the Kachatna River. The lodge sits kind of in the middle. You take about a mile long ride to get to the Kachatna boat ramp and the Otter River is what we fish the most. The Mouth and then a few times on the Beaver Hut in Gills Beach. There's also the Ganyan River that you can fish, which we did one day, and the Red Creek, which is kind of a, a long hike. Well, no Alaska video would be complete without some bush plane footage, so this is what the flight looked like. It took about 40 minutes when we saw the landing strip for the lodge. You can see the Nali in the background. That was the welcoming committee. The lodge is beautiful. I really enjoyed staying there. It comes with a huge mud room with lockers where you can hang out the gear. There are plenty of weapons around, just in case of bears and whatever else, now that we ever saw one. This was the other group, the Sullivans, who stayed the same week we did. We didn't really fish together very much, but we enjoyed time together in the mornings and evenings. This is Mike tying, tying some flies. View of the living room. The escaping view of the Nali. View from our room, balcony. This is Dave and our guide Nick getting ready for the first time. And so what we would do is we would take one of these ranger cars out of the lodge and drive on bulldozed roads until we got to the parking area. And from here we would walk about, I don't know, a quarter mile to get to the boat line. The boardwalk is constructed by the lodge owner, Dave, and it keeps you walking above the swamp. This is the boat we took every single day of the trip. And here's us going up the Kichapna River to the first place that we fished the most called the Mouth of the Otter, which is where the Otter River meets into the Kichapna. You can see the grey waters of the Kichapna and the clear waters of Otter. This fish is fin hooked, so that was illegal to keep. We were allowed to keep up to three salmon a day each, uh, but they had to be hooked in the mouth. I eat a fair catch. Snagging fish wasn't good. This is Dave fishing with his custom made, I should say self made, bamboo rod, which worked really well. You can learn more about that at ArkansasRiverRods.com. I'm sure he'd be happy to build it. This is some chest footage from the fish that I caught further up the creek. This was not a silver salmon, this was a chum or dog salmon. You can see. It has really big teeth, stripes and different coloring. So this was actually a pretty old and tired fish that's been in the creek for a while. What we were fishing for are the younger silver salmon that were just migrating up from the ocean and that are super tasty and good eat. This is Byron, the resident eagle, who every so often would dive into the river and grab his salmon and then try to drag it up to a place he could eat. We were fortunate enough to see this happen a few times. This is Dave's big dog salmon. You can see the front teeth, which are super developed. This was a silver salmon, but it's really turned and ready for spawning. And turn really red. Lunch. The fish that we were to keep were gutted and then we would hang them on the stringer behind. Then at the end of the day, Nick would carry them back to the lodge. We saw lots of bear tracks everywhere. And Nick was prepared to defend us, but the occasion never arose. 
This was the Winter Fly for Me, which we dubbed the TP Special. And it worked fairly well. I used it mostly. Not only we were preying on salmon, all of the trout were also eating salmon eggs. And on a few occasions, we had a streamside lunch. Here's Dave with his bamboo rod and another fish. And more bear traps. This is another dog salmon. You can see it's been laying on a bank for a while. Mike with a few of his fish. We would use the engine to get up to the rivers, but on the rivers itself, Nick would paddle us around. We also caught rainbows, a few odd graylings, lots of body widens. There's Denali in the background. A very cooperating salmon, which I released on my last morning. You can see it's hooked on a TP special. Last morning, we filleted some of the salmon, Nick spiced it up with butter and good spices, and grilled it up. And it was a really nice way to end our fishing trip with some fresh salmon we caught that very morning. This is Dave, or I should say David, and little David, the owners of the lodge. We said our goodbyes, went into the air, and flew to Anchorage. It was a great trip.